Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Atom RPG with me, Bring It On. Off camera, I did try to make the journey to Red Fighter so I could start the episode there, but the first random encounter I came across were the book burners uh, for the quest that we got in the last episode from uh, Abraham the bookseller. Also, it reminded me that I need to stop and heal because I only have 28 health. We haven't had potatoes yet. After eating some baked potatoes, you can finally restore your fragile health and soothe your huge appetite. Ah, who doesn't like good old baked potatoes? Well, maybe some don't, but they are sure not your average, always hungry wasteland dwellers. They heal you for like nothing. Okay. Well, we'll still have to make some meat. Now we can do one more. Let's get up to full health. And skedaddle. Hopefully it's the um, book burning encounter that we stumble across next, or first, I guess. There's nothing particularly special about the book burning encounter, but it is a quest related random encounter. And I do want to showcase all of those and all the unique ones that you can find. Why wow, you attracted the attention of a band of book burners. They're obviously hostile towards you. Well, let's get hostile right back. Teach them knowledge is power. Right, where are they at? So there's one over here. Alright, Zobar should go after that guy. He can probably handle him by himself. I'm gonna let this guy come to me, so I'm not walking through these poison mushrooms. So I'm just gonna end my turn there. Okay, this is where most of them are at. I think that works in my favor. I'll move here to intercept this crowd. And Zobars again can handle those guys by himself. He's a he's a pretty tough cookie. The high dodge chance. Even higher if he doesn't move. Alright, let's take care of her first. Good job, Zobars. Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to turn around. But I want to change his weapon. So he's not wasting ammunition on these guys. Alright, take care of that guy. And take care of this guy, hopefully. Nice. Nothing to it. Let's make sure that was all of them. Alright, let's loot their, their illiterate corpses. Club, knife, some thorny armor. Close to being encumbered. So let us start divvying up some of this stuff. Um, what do I have? Let's give these to Fidel. Fidel, can you hold on to these as well? That bought me about 10. He can't hold much more. Hmm. This is where another companion comes in really handy. Now, not everything we find here is going to be worth a lot of money, so it's not worth taking everything anyway, but uh, at the very least I want some drugs. And Siggy, canned meat, nails, onions come in handy for the buff, 
clubs are not worth a ton, but we'll just grab them anyway. Steel breastplate. Oh, hot dog. Living large now. I'll take those as well. So we'll just take all of that. All right, so we're a little over encumbered. That's fine. We're going to do it this way. Uh, where's it at? So... 21% damage resistance to body and 3 damage threshold. So 5 better resistance and 1 better threshold. And it looks cooler. It's got that stylish color. Leather. Is that what I had on? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, so we'll just equip this for now. And call it even. Is there anything that I left behind? Really don't need a log. Hopefully we run across a caravan. Because that's what we're going to need. There's not a trader in Red Fighter yet. But there is someone who can help us lug all this stuff around. So. That's the next best thing. A compact cassette. I'm glad I went in there. All right. Well, the book burners have been dealt with. It doesn't say that the quest was updated. Maybe when I leave this area. Yeah, there we go. All right, it updated. All right, it's Red Fighter. Again, if I hit every another random encounter, I want it to be... Oh, Slave Hunters are nasty. We're not doing this. Uh, at least last time I played through. Uh, the Slave Hunter encounters were the worst ones for the most part. It's a lot of a lot of enemies, and they have a lot of, um, a lot of guns and stuff. It, it's really hard to deal with. I've been ambushed by a gang of Slave Hunters. A quick glance is enough to tell you, tell that they are trying to circle you. Yeah, talk your way out. Oh no. Oh, you didn't manage to talk your way out of this predicament. The battle is inevitable. Oh no. I don't think that we can win this. Unless they've changed the Slave Hunter fights, which... Oh hey, pumpkin heads. For the Halloween event. A lot of guns, so that's something. Yeah, if it weren't for the guns, this would be a problem, but uh... The gun's going to be a big problem. And grenades. And a reckless disregard for life. Yeah, no. We're, uh... We're not doing that. The Slave Hunter fights are always like that. And they are the worst. Hey, we made it to Red Fighter. Now we can deal with a bunch of giant spiders. But I think they're separated enough to where you only have to fight one at a time. And I do have a good chance of stunning. Yeah, there's one up there. Now, not having a shield on is going to be suicide here. 
Um, let me go back to the entrance. I'm going to drop off some gear at the entrance so I can grab it on the way out. Not having a shield against these spiders is a uh, is a big mistake. All right, those two are pretty close together. Not super keen on that. I'm gonna try and circle around the edge of the map. Why is he going that way? Good job, Zobars. Give him the business. Oh no, Fidel. Good, he's stunned. Easy kill. How much health does Fidel have? Only 57. What is his endurance? He's at 7. It's not bad. But I want to say every other companion has better endurance than he does. Oh man. And I'm poisoned. These are two really good crits. Screw this guy. Is there a fire in this area so I can heal up using food? Because I'd rather do that than uh, use medicine. So do I have any water? I don't think that I do. There's some toxic this way here. We'll just eat some apples. And there's something else that cured us of toxicity. Was it this? Yeah, the carrots. Yeah, that'll work. I keep forgetting that I just have raw food I can eat. Oh, hey, water. <laughs> Better you than me, mutant. Bullseye. Hey, there's our next companion. Good old Hexagen. But first things first, we need to equip. Where are my empty bottles? Have any other empty bottles? All right, and we're not done here. There should be some more spiders running around. Still need to be careful and make sure I don't pull more than one at a time. Alright, so this is the player home. Once uh, you clear out the area and people start coming in. And you can find people throughout the waste to recruit. I mentioned it earlier in the Let's Play with uh, Danya and Sasha. I think that's the boyfriend's name. 
And there's a couple other people you can recruit to your base as well. What level am I? I'm level seven. I'm pretty sure. He pretty sure Hexogen. He you either get him at level six or level eight. Uh, the companions have stagnant levels. They don't gain experience until you recruit them, and then even then they only gain experience in combat. So it's a little limiting, but their main purpose is to soak up some damage for you. How are you missing, Fidel? He's stunned. I mean, melee weapons isn't really his forte, so... I can't really fault him for it. Alright, I think this might be the last one. Let me confirm that. Yeah. This is the last spider. Sweet. Plus, matter leveling up. Well, we're getting there. Well, at least Zubar's got his revenge. Yeah, so I don't think there's anything to discover in this town at all. Until after, even, well, even after you turn it into your settlement. Um, it's not really a lot to discover. Oh, there's a, there is another one. Son of a gun. Where was he hiding at? Hey, nice little 57 chunk, and he was blinded. Which doesn't matter for melee, but still, nice status ailment to, to apply to somebody. There we go, quest log has been updated, that should be all the mutants taken care of. Let's go deal with Hexogen. He has a lot to say. Where do I need to approach him from? Oh, right here. That's right. You cautiously approach the barricade that blocks the entrance to a ramshackle house. Weird rustling and muffled swearings come from the house. Suddenly, as if startled by your approach, a silent squeaking voice comes from the rubbish pile a rubbish piled up at the entrance. The hero is back. The powerful warrior who single-handedly defeated the buzzing mutant swarm. The invaders. Wait. Wait, soldier. I'll clear the passage for you. Oh, that's right. If you try to talk to him first, he wants you to clear out the mutants, which you have to do anyway. You hear menacing squeaking from the other side, followed by a rumbling noise. Just a second. The entire barricade is based on one supporting element. Right? Ready. 
Suddenly the barricade falls apart, like a house of cards. You jump aside just in time to avoid being hit by the construction. Now the passage is open. The hare realizes with horror that there is no escape. Okay, well. In front of you, surrounded by a drove of wild hares, stands an elderly man with a full beard. He nods thoughtfully as you approach and spreads his hands. Hooray! The siege has been broken. No marching band, no fireworks. And by a simple plebeian. Yesterday's ape. And that's precisely what fills my heart with joy. Isn't that so, my brave fighters? Private Karatov? The old man surveys his horde of hares with hope naked in his eyes. The hares ignore his question and continue to wiggle their ears and sniff at the floorboards in search of fodder. No reply and no respect from these rookies. What can you do? Before they were conscripted, they were all punks, hooligans, and other varieties of scum. But just wait and see. I'll turn them into a special ops squadron that will sweep away any enemy in the face on the face of the earth. Oh, that's an interesting turn of events. And who are you exactly? Who am I? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah will mine commandant. Is that what the Nazi invaders roared as they rushed into battle? But even they broke their teeth in the naked skin of this great, yes, even now great union that's been crucified by the nuclear explosions. I'm talking about our country, the glorious USSR. The man stands up tall and looks straight into your eyes, his gaze brimming with pride and pra pride and passion. Ugh. I'm the voice of our mighty motherland, Private. I'm your father, your spiritual dad. Trudov the Rider, Camp Alias, Hexogen. Rider? I'm not familiar with your works, sorry. Well, that's hardly news. People nowadays are uneducated. But I remember. I remember the rise of our amazing culture. A culture too complex for today's world. My culture. The culture to which I belong is a refined, classy culture. Urban culture, the Trifonians, they're reflected on the drama of the intellectual co consciousness. Refined intellectual consciousness. Folk prose. The divine prose of Astia, Astafiev. Uh, Belov, Rasputin, and myself. Yours truly. This is the pinnacle of li literary art. It speaks of the mysterious life of the villages. It speaks of sorrows. Of people gone. The ones who left these villages and never returned. The old man is obviously drifting off topic. That all sounds nice. However, none of it... Uh, let's see. Uh, wait, wait. Tell me again. I'd like to take notes. Yes, yes. Good thinking, my son. I'll save my stories until we can sit down together. Then, in a different, peaceful time, you'll write a book about them. Hexogen tugs at his dusty apparel and falls silent. Uh, maybe you could answer some more urgent questions. Anything you ask... Uh, will be but a moment, a speck of dust in the face of the burning red wheel of history. But I'm ready to answer. Go on, ask. Uh, how about sharing a bit of your history with me? Why do you act so mysterious? A man's history is not like a bread ration during the siege of Leningrad, our hero city, and therefore I ain't sharing it. Uh, but I will tell you one thing, because your family, along with such textual g gigolos as Gorky Peshkov and Demian Bedny, I, the elderly writer Trudov, born Romanov, fathered Soviet literature in the bedroom of young socialism. I stayed faithful to her for many long years. Later, when she became use useless and senseless, I buried her, and for that I was crucified on a camp rack. But right now, as for now, I am looking for something. And what are you looking for? No, no, don't ask. We don't know each other well enough for me to tell all my secrets. I understand. Next question. The old man falls quiet, as if contemplating something. Well, what brings you here? Just answer me truthfully. All roads lead to communism, son. And thus I ended up here, with this crew of disorderly, long-geared forest parasites. I know, I know. It's unbecoming for the country's last surviving intellectual to spend his days with the likes of these unruly, vulgar beasts. But I just wanted to take a break from humans. And these here, these... Rugrats, made me feel very welcome. Believe it or not, son, some of them were even willing to sacrifice their bodies to sustain mine. Others agreed to join my personal army. But now that I've met you, my spiritual son and disciple, I realize it's too early to give in to this insanity. If only the insanity felt the same way about you. Can I ask another question? Uh, what do you know about these lands? 
Places of interest? Hidden caches? Caches. Well, if I don't tell you willingly, you'll pressure me for the info, like the Nazis did at Zoya Kosmodemyanskaya. I can see it in your eyes. Alright, son. Take it. Here it is. The old man grabs your hand and presses your palm against his broad chest. Here is my most precious cache, the one filled with my love for the motherland. Right here in my heart, the one that stores the sharpest prose and most passionate poetry. This is the real treasury of patriotic feelings and luminous nostalgia. Do not rush to destroy this vault of love, for not even three dump trucks would be enough to carry away all these gems. Mierda, old man. My amigo here is talking about really important stuff. Bullets, guns, abandoned technical equipment. It would be best if you just stayed quiet. I'm not interested in all these tears. I'm only interested in the beautiful golden grains of poetry. Um, I didn't see this coming, but alright. One more question. And I'm going to regret this, but what's the recent news around here? Oh, son, you know you're speaking to your father here, not to your mother, that nasty, talkative broad from the Siberian outback. Your father is a true intellectual. Gossip and rumors repulse him. The old man finishes his speech, leans closer to you, and whispers, It's better that long-eared bastards don't know I'm telling people all about them. So, there's a rumor that Private Karatov's wife ate three of her own babies right after giving birth. Can you believe it? Their marriage is completely in shambles, and Commander O'Cabbage just yesterday was jumping over Commander Hareman's wife in the meadow. Dipstick, we're only interested in news about caravans, bloodthirsty monsters, and ways of earning a few rubles. Well, you know what, comrade? If news of a mother eating her own children doesn't shock you, then for some reason, I don't feel safe in your heartless company. Oh my, maybe you can answer some more questions for me. Alright, so I've already met you. I'd better be going now. As you start to turn away, Old Hexogen stops you with a mournful cry. Wait a second. Son, wait. Wait, my dear. Uh, yes? I'm listening. There's nothing left for me to do in these with these rascals, these so-called hares. I'm sure you realize I am handicapped, and I have chosen you to guide me through this cruel world. Oh, lovely. I could use an assistant. Hope you know what you're doing, Donnie. Bring this old coot along with us. It's with a heavy heart that you let the old man follow you, without further discussion. Is he really who he says he is? And what will the consequences of your decision be? These are questions for another day. Alright, so we have Hexogen. He is level 8. He has a decent martial arts. Oh, he has a bunch of points into pistols and SMG. Don't like that. I thought he had more points into his rifle, but I guess not. Hmm. I don't like that. Okay. Well, shoot. I think I thought that because he starts with... Yeah, he starts with a rifle. Don't I have another backpack? Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll give this to Hexogen for now. Oh, he has a bigger backpack. Never mind. Well, sweet. That works out. And let's see, Hexogen. Need to equip him with some stuff real fast. Uh, let's see, let's give him a knife. It's a backup weapon. What does he have on? He doesn't need that. I'm just going to take that from him and so I can sell it. Alright, we'll have some armor at the entrance.
We'll grab that on the way out, and then I guess our next destination should be Krasno. Well, no, we'll go to Otronoye first, uh, so I can turn in the Lord of the Rings quest. I don't have a mask for him right now. Not that I think he needs it, but... Shoot. I really thought his... Uh, that changes everything. Well, not a whole lot, because all of his stuff is pretty lackluster. So they basically give you a choice which direction you want to go with Fidel. Did not realize he had that much into pistols and SMGs. Because I was going to make him rifles, and then the last guy, automatic firearms. I guess I can still make him... I can make him automatic firearms. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go, I guess. Oh, wait. I didn't allocate his uh, skill points. Or traits, or whatever they're called. Speaking of, he needs one more level, and then I can do fast hand. Yeah, those would be good for him. All right, so So I think I don't remember I read somewhere that Eagle Eye doesn't work for companions. I don't know if that was verified or not because companions don't just use aim shot. Uh, that's something that you have to manually do. And you can't manually make companions use uh, aim shot. So I think just going down this path to get to Witcher, times two damage to animals and monsters, is the ideal path. And then probably go this route. After. So yeah, let's give some points to rifles and shotguns, monster lore expert, and witcher. So that's everything in that down that tree that I want. Cat's eye, I don't know how helpful that'll be. There, I can think of a couple areas where we have to fight in dark. Like a couple of tunnels and stuff and caves. But I never really noticed a huge difference. So I think from here I'm just going to go down this path. I want to get him to, you know, think like the enemy of Praetorian. Because again, I don't think Eagle Eye works. I'll, I'll look that up off camera and uh, verify that. In the meantime, I'm going to call it here. And off camera, I'm going to head towards Otranoye and try and... Um, so we turn in that one quest that we have. Now we can basically do whatever we want. I do need to go back to Krasno, talk to the guy that gave us the quest for Red Fighter. He'll set it up so that we can start upgrading this place, and there's a certain upgrade we need to get the final permanent companion. Uh, because there are two other companions you can get besides that guy. So three more companions technically, but one of them will cause you to lose two or three of your companions. And the other one is supposed to be temporary, but you can keep her around for as long as you want, if you, uh, if you want. Anyway, going to call it here, and uh, hopefully I'll meet you guys in Ultranoye in the next one. Thanks for watching, hope to see you guys there.